Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of FTB Pyramid Reborn. Hope everybody's doing good. I'm doing fantastic. Guys, today is episode 8. I've got a great episode planned for you. Hashtag question of the day. You're allowed to play with only one mod for the rest of time. What mod do you choose and why? <clears throat> for me, this is a hard one. I th Man, I honestly, I think I would choose Ender IO. Ender IO has got so much to it, it's such a great mod. So anyways, let me know what yours is down in the comment section below. As always, if you enjoy this series, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. Turn on notifications when the videos come out. Guys, let's get into it. Alright guys, so today we're going to start off by actually moving the farm a little bit. Um, I want to scoot this down at least one block. Just so we have, I'm, I'm pretty sure I want to make sure that they... Uh, at least bump each other into this and the only way to do that is to put it right here so we need to move it a little bit there we go all right um i'll probably end up moving that but i want to make sure that i i don't die falling off the edge first not a real big fan of falling off the edge i think you guys can understand that there we go put that there put that there so that should take care of that being moved and I don't think we're going to need this. There we go. Alright, so, yeah, we can go ahead and move that. There we go. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. I've got to kill this creeper first. <clears throat> Excuse me. There we go. Alright. Fantastic. Alright, so we'll get rid of all that. So I also made, if you guys didn't see it already... I made this. That took forever. Oh my god. You, you do not want to know how long that took. We're not even going to talk about it. That's how long it took. It, we're, it's not talk, talk aboutable. <laughs> Words. I'm good at them. Okay. So, let's go ahead and get the fans turned on. There we go. I wonder if I should just leave this platform here so I have easy access back here. That might be a, a good idea. There we go. Not sure why I had that all the way there for. Uh, weird. Okay, let me remove this. Add you in, add you in. And there we go. So that should complete that. I don't think mobs can get back there. So now they'll bump into each other, which works pretty well. Next up, I need to, um, all right, guys. So before we go to the nether, we actually need to make a builder's wand. So this isn't a super hard thing to do. <clears throat> there we go. Got the builder's wand done. All right, cool. So let's head down to the nether. So to get to the nether, we have to go here, go all the way down. Seems like the easiest way to get down is to just fall down like that. So the game plan here is to not die. <clears throat> but we do need gold to make the Thermionic Fabricator. So the only way to make that is to get pigmen to kill them. So we're going to try our best here. <clears throat> <coughs> Excuse me. So sorry, I'm like trying not to die over here. I just ate lunch and I'm like, Durg, Durg and Durgensons. There we go. So we are going to fill all this in. Typically, I would go for that chest, but I'm not going to even chance it today. So we need to make the platform as big as possible, but we do want to keep it even because Spaz OCD over here. Okay. There we go. So we'll just do, let's say, like one, two, and then one, two. And then, let's make sure we can do the whole... Okay, so we can't do the whole thing, so... One, two, three. Then fill this in. Try to this Try to make it pretty much even on all sides, right? So one, two, three. I wish we had a diamond. That would be so much easier. And then we'll just continue expanding. So one, two, three... There we go. So eventually we're going to... I may have brought too much cobblestone. There we go. So three more on the other side. So I'm thinking that the width is going to be probably the most important. Three. 
Now, I guess the question is, I'm, I'm sure Pikmin can spawn on, on this, right? That seems appropriate. Okay. So now let's go three more out on this side. I'm just going to keep doing threes, I think. Three. Seems like probably the easiest way to handle it. Three on the other side. I thought that our cobblestone would be depleting faster, but it's not. There we go. So two, three. Running out of Builder's Wand, though. So platform's already getting pretty big. Our Builder's Wand is gone. I wonder if this would be enough. Obviously, I have a lot of cobblestone. Um, hmm. See, I think I need to be 25 blocks away is the problem. All right, so what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to add a rim of three around the entire thing. So I'll just do that off camera and put all this stuff up. And then we're going to come back into the nether and see if there are any pigment here. All right, guys, I am back in the overworld. Throw all my stuff in there. Okay, so I was thinking if we can't get gold right away, then we may need to see if we can make another uh, challenge get finished. So I'm going to go over here and check this out real fast. And also, I haven't seen the animals spawn yet either. Um, <clears throat> greenhouse fan, induction furnace. What does it take to make an induction furnace? I know that's pretty hard, right? So it requires an advanced machine casing. Cannot make that. Holy crap, that's hard. Is there any other challenges? Because that seems pretty tough. Invar, diamond, and silver. What about a shock absorber? So that requires empowered crystals, so we can't do that one. Mm, those seem pretty uh, pretty hard. That is aluminum, cactus. What's these other ones? Uh, yeah, that's um, wow, that's really tough. I don't know, man. I guess we're just gonna have to go down the line as we typically do. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and head back to the nether now. I actually got to grab some blocks real fast. Um, grab some slabs. There we go. So I made like a little pla a little pla a little platform that we can stand on if we need to. I also want to check this since we've updated it. Nothing. Nothing. Man, is it unpeaceful? No, it is unpeaceful. What the hell? That'll do it. <clears throat> we go so we'll head back to the nether uh platform i just did a three wide ring around the entire thing let's hope that it's okay okay so here didn't know you could go through that oh my god i almost jumped right off the edge so yeah there's nothing here Ooh, that's gonna be a problem i want oh I mean, it is on normal now. I guess we could probably hang out for a second, right? Just try to figure out what's going on to see if they're going to spawn or not. Little miss, little miss, can't be wrong. So there'll be a little, a little area. And I'm going to turn my render distance to 32 real fast and just see if there's anything else out there. Doesn't look like it. So is there another way to get uh, Nether Wrath then? Uh, not really. Interesting, because I'm not. I don't think they can just spawn on Nether Rock, right? That doesn't seem proper. Here's what I'll do. I'll turn this into a dark room. Uh, there, there, there. So that should limit all the light into this area, right? So if I'm in here, so uh, should be completely dark out there. It's all normal. I guess it's going to take a minute for them to spawn. Maybe I should try and come back or something. I don't know. Weird. Well, that is not working the way we wanted to. Let's go back to the overworld. Okay. I, um, <clears throat> I, I want to make a bigger tree farm today, too. I want to move them off the main platform or at least over to the side some. Um, I guess we could maybe just use one side of it. I don't know. 
the, the, I guess the problem is with the tree farm is that like I just don't I feel like I don't have enough room to harvest because they hang off the edge. So maybe we expand the platform on one side. So we'll do that. So let's get up here. Climbing up this thing is a doozy, man. A doozy. So hopefully our mom spawners will get running again. Anything in there right now? Well, there's one. Okay. So yeah, I feel like I don't have enough room. So what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to expand the platform on this side by a good bit. So let's go downstairs and grab some sticks and another piece of iron. There we go. There we go. Okay, cool. Got that. So over here, I think we're going to move it away from the sides. Fill this in. So let's see if we have it, let's say move it in two. It'll be here. So that's like three. So let's do like maybe one or two more rows. There we go. Fill all this in. All right, so I need to grab some more slabs. I really wish uh, some mobs will start spawning over there. Uh, make some more of these. And I think we're probably going to need, well, I don't know. We might need not need any more dirt. We'll see. Let's go ahead and take this down. There we go. I'll take you care of. All right, so fill you back in. I probably shouldn't even have filled it in all the way because we're literally just about to remove some. Okay, so to keep it from hanging over, I'm going to remove two pieces of dirt on each side. There we go. I'm going to fill those back in with cobblestone. And then if we're going to keep it three away from the war... Oh, you know what? Here, let's... Well, first off here, let me grab some torches. Uh, we're going to need a few of those. So let me grab some coal. I don't know if I have any extra torches or not. I don't think so. Three of those. Okay. So, torches. There. And so let's see. How far away do I have these spaced? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So let's go maybe like one more row. We could probably do even more than that if we wanted to, but I think this will be okay. And then line it up with the middle. Hopefully this will get us some bigger harvests. Obviously, I think it will because there's more there. Okay. Um, that's all lined up. So now we got to remove this. And we're going to keep it three away from the sides. So. There. All right, let's take care of that. We'll just do the edges and then vein mine. Vein mining like this always makes me super, super nervous because I feel like it's still touching. There we go. That's all taken care of now. Fill in our dirt. All right, so we have a much, much bigger tree farm now. Let's actually go grab some other saplings. Here. There we go. So I'll fill all those in, and then I'm going to clear that up over there. All right, guys, just an update on what's going on. I uh, extended the platform one more reach, like one more six blocks. Kind of hoping that if it's just a little bit further away, mobs might start spawning. So we'll see. Anyways, um, besides putting everything away, I do want to run back to the nether one more time and just see if we have any mobs there. If we can't get any mobs to spawn, that's a huge, huge problem. <clears throat> put that all the way, put that all the way. I want to smelt these. Don't care, we're about to let her roll. Okay, put that in there so that'll cook that. Let's put this over here, put that there. All right, cool, so I'll let that run. 
Let's go ahead and run to the nether. We're kind of stuck right now, like, on what to do until, you know. Still no, no drops, huh? Interesting. Oh, well, he dropped something that time. There we go. Uh, oh, you know what? Hold on. Mm hmm. It's exactly what I thought was going on. The hoppers cannot pick up the items because there is no way for it to pick up the items. It's not falling through the hopper. So I didn't even literally didn't even think about that until just now. So that is definitely a problem. I'm not sure how we're going to fix that either. There we go. So there's definitely drops now. I would imagine there's probably drops on this side too. No, yeah, maybe not. Interesting. So, which is what's it's, it's weird because like there were um, drops in the hoppers before. So I'm a little confused. There we go. Anyway, let's go to the nether. Try this again. Okay. This time, let's not run through the nether. <laughs> that might be a better idea. Just saying. I should probably put it back on that. Don't care about the ladder room. Any pigmen? No pigmen. So that makes me nervous because I'm starting to think that maybe they can't spot on cobblestone. Which doesn't really make sense. You'd think they would be able to. And it's on normal. Huh. I'm not sure, guys. If you have any ideas as to why they might not be spawning, let me know. But I think that's probably going to do it for this episode, guys. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, turn on notifications when the videos come out. Guys, this is iJevin. Peace out.